Hello, um, I'm gonna be making lunch so we're gonna, it's gonna be a high raw dish, there's gonna be loads of all these raw veggies and we're also gonna be using um, Pinsin's noodles as well as their paste. Ah, I forgot to paste, I forgot to pin this comment. Okay, comment pin to, pin it, pin it. <laughs> comment pinned. <laughs> Okay, let me just check on Facebook if this is working. It is, but my head is always cut off, but oh well. Uh, this is how it is. So if you're watching this live on Facebook, please share this on your wall so that more people can um, learn from this actually. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna make the, uh, the, the, the broth first and then while it's cooking, um, I can explain more, yeah? Alright, so we're going to use... Um, I put in some... Okay, we're going to use the paste, the pins and paste. It's basically just the pins and paste, water, and plant-based milk. So, I'm going to put in... And I'm just going to cook this in my thermal mix, but you can just cook this in your pot. Yeah, so I'm going to put that in, and then I'll put in the plant-based milk. Yeah, so that's like about 30, 30 ml. Ooh, where's my spatula? Alright, let's just try and get every little bit in. And then we'll put in the paste. I usually measure, but today my, um, my weighing skill is kind of uh, acting up, so never mind. We're just gonna follow the instructions here. The instructions here just say like three tablespoons, which is let me see. Uh, this is the green tom yum, right? Tables three tablespoons, which is eighty grams, and water is two hundred and fifty mL, and then the plant-based milk is thirty mL. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put in. Yeah, I think both the. I don't know why both my weighing machines are not working. Even this one, the whole thing is like, yeah, it's not working. So I need to get it kept calibrated actually so ugh. alrighty so that goes in and I'll tell you what's inside the um, what are the ingredients inside the paste as well uh, while we just let this boil yeah I'm not gonna let it so the instructions actually say you need to let it boil but I'm just gonna like heat it up until about maybe 50 degrees yeah celsius yeah i don't want it to be too hot all right there we go um hello asamat hello elspeth smith prasanna raman what's cooking uh prasanna we are Okay, Prasanna, it's quite funny. Initially, I wanted... Oh, it's higher. Uh, does that work? Initially, I wanted to make a laksa kolantan. Yeah, and then so I cut out all these veggies. So, um, like the laksa kolantan, it will have like the bunga kantan, which is the torch ginger flower. For those who have, are not in Malaysia or Asia, if you haven't seen it, this is the torch ginger flower super fragrant i love this yeah it's 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 interesting because people ask like how are you gonna find a substitute for this it's like it's hard it's very hard although i know in um london i've seen them like they cut this up and um they kind of like i think it's frozen they have frozen ones and i think i've seen them cut it out and put it in little containers as well so yeah so anyway um so it's bunga kantan, a torch ginger flower. Um, there is um, basil. I'm using the basil from the farm Asia. And then there is bean sprouts. Uh, I'm going to have this all raw. And then um, this is the non-traditional one. This is because uh, the farm Asia sent me micro greens. So this is red amaranth and it's so pretty. So I'm using that as well. And then um, cucumber. I, I cut up Japanese cucumber. And then there's chili patty. Or um, I know like some of my friends call it the Thai red chili. Um, there's also bak choy microgreens from the farm Asia. 
So the farm manager, if you are interested in getting them to, um, you can contact them on your Facebook or your Instagram if you're interested in getting delivery. Or you can, if you're in like Tamantun area, they have, uh, they sell it as just fruits also has their stock. And then um, these are uh, long beans, which I have cut up into tiny pieces. Yeah, so uh, by the time I pre prepared all this, I was like, okay, I'm tired now, so I'm not going to make... I was initially going to make like the laksa kelantan sauce and broth, so I'm like, I'm not doing that, I'm just using Finzin's paste. Oh yeah, usually they have salted cabbage as well, so what I'm going to do is, um, I have my carrot and uh, red cabbage ferment, so uh, that's what I'm using. Um, if anybody is interested in uh, interesting fermentation recipes, check out my ebook, Fun with Ferments. It's my uh, most affordable ebook at only US $7. Um, on Instagram, it is uh, in my link tree, link in bio. On Facebook, Mr. Us, um, Mr. Jazz Guitarist will put up the link for the Fun with Ferments. And in fact, if you want to go further, for um, the ferments, Ooh, I think it's ready. you want to go further for the ferments, um, I also have a course called Mouth-Watering Korean Dishes. So that one has um, even more kimchi recipes as well. Um, so yeah, check that out. Um, my five ingredient raw vegan course will also soon have a super simple like three, four ingredient kimchi recipe as well so yeah you have loads of um, different courses and ebook books from me to check out if you're it's is something you're interested in hello Edlina oh hello vegan ventures for you hi Amir hello Zul hello Zulfa yeah and hello Suisunam Suiso <laughs> yeah hi Sharon Wong yeah so okay, so that's that, and then um, so these are all the veggies that I'm using, yeah, including the fermenters. And then um, initially I was wondering like, oh maybe I could write, make raw noodles and just spiralize the um, cucumber. Then I'm like, oh, I don't really want to wash my spiralizer, so I thought I'll just make, um, I'll just use the uh, this healthy homemade noodles from Finsen. Um, those who are interested. Those who want to know what's inside, it's unbleached wheat flour, flour, sea salt, and filtered water, and there's no lye. Basically, I just cooked it in boiling water for five minutes, and then I used, um, and then they said, because the instructions say like, uh, you know, put olive oil into the water and leave it for one minute. So I, I didn't put olive oil, I put the Marla Brun coconut oil spread, because this one is um, full pressed coconut oil, so yeah. I put that and then uh, yeah and then um, so these are the noodles wait, 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 wait. <laughs> these are the noodles yeah I put um, 80 grams of the noodles today sometimes I use 100 uh, but today I decided like uh, no lah cause noodles are still processed right so I didn't want to use so much of it I want to eat more of my veggies than that so yeah that's what it is Amir hi chef how is MCO going um not very good. I, I'm really tired of being stuck at home. But I guess that's how things are. If you want to stay safe, um, I have cut my hair. I've learned how to cut my hair. <laughs> so I think I cut my hair like three times already. So um, I'm quite happy with the results. It's not like, it's not like a super. It's okay lah, the haircut. It's I mean it's not like how you if you go to a my usual hairstylist to to cut it, but. But it's okay, I cut off like, um, I don't know, 2-3 inches off so I feel much lighter. So <laughs> that's like the, that's one of the good things that came out from uh, this lockdown that I learned how to cut my hair. One of my skills. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so we have already, I think this is ready. Let me taste it. Oh, it's nice. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. I'm excited now. So, yeah, super simple. I'm just gonna pour the broth in. And then, um, yeah. 
and then put in all the veggies. I'm gonna eat all the veggies raw. Yeah. And then and then you will have it. So it's once you've done with the prep, it's actually like really easy. Okay, let me put this back here. So those on Facebook can actually see it. So these are the cucumbers. Um I just cut them up into matchsticks. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Amir, did you manage to get my book? The um, desserts book. You said that you wanted to... I think you said you were going to... I think you were going to go to the popular, right? There was a popular bookstore nearby or something. So I'm just wondering whether you managed to get it or not. Yeah. Oh yeah, I am going to be... I'll do a Zoom session this Sunday. I haven't figured out what I'm going to make yet. I'm still thinking, depending on what veggies I have and all that. Or maybe I'll do like a Chinese New Year thing. I might do a Chinese New Year thing. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, because Chinese New Year is coming up, right? This morning I was making cookies, like halfway making cookies. It's quite funny, I was making... <laughs> I was trying to make the dough for the cookies and I kept eating it. So I'm waiting for my pineapple to turn into jam, but I have to dehydrate it. And then like half the cookie dough is already gone, so I don't know. Okay, so these are green sprouts. I'm putting those in. Ooh. Yeah. And then um I'm gonna put in the the be yeah, the bezel. Yeah. If you have that one, Sela say that will be great because that's like the um that will be the traditional one, but this one is the sweet um basil, which is fine as well. You know. We'll we'll do with what we have. I love the smell of basil. And then um I'm gonna put in some of the yeah, some of the bunga kantan, but maybe you know what? Yeah, I'll just put the bunga kantan here, and then um, we'll put in the red amaranth. This is the red amaranth. Yeah, need to have space for noodles. If not, cannot see any of the noodles. Ha! <laughs> it's okay lah. I'll put in the. Okay, these are the um, the long beans. Yeah, Amri says yummy, yummy. Lim Chun Lai is watching. Thanks for joining, Lim Chun Lai. Okay, why did I do this here? Okay, more. And then, let me put, so this is the bak choy microgreen, so we'll put that there. Okay, and then we have the chilies. I figure out, like, maybe I'll put the chilies on top of the um, cucumbers, so you can actually see it. Ooh, and then I think I will sprinkle this on top as well. The, um, yeah. Ooh, let's try it first before I. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna. I do want to take a picture, but let's try a little bit. I'm wondering how. Yeah, Asama says yum. Oh, maybe I should show you how it looks like first because I'm scared if I try it, then you like can't see it anymore, right? So this is how it looks like. It's loads of raw veggies and then there's noodles in it as well. So yeah. And here. Okay, now I try it. I'm excited. I'm gonna try and put like a bit of everything. I don't know whether I can get a bit of everything, but we'll try. So I'll have a bit of the noodles. Yeah, and of course you need the kwa, the broth. And then uh, I'll put in a bit of the gluten content. Ooh, and we'll have the chili. Ooh. And then we'll have the veggies. 
So actually, if you have sambal, it will be good. Oh, I realized something. I haven't actually put in the um, the ferments, the cabbage. Yeah, I was like, hey. Okay, okay. So let's do that as well. I was like, there's something missing here. So this is the red cabbage and um, carrot fermented. I, I think I fermented this for maybe like lactose fermentation. So it's just like um, it gets fermented on like it's well fermentation so you just need to put salt only. Yeah. And it will ferment nicely. Mm, okay. We'll put a bit so that gives it a lot of flavor um of course you can make sambal blachan as well um i'm not putting in sambal blachan just because i think this has already so much flavor and then um unless you made like raw vegan sambal blachan then it's healthy if not uh because if you get like highly processed fake vegetarian sambal it's it's not healthy <laughs> There's most probably like all these preservatives and this artificial flavoring in it. Yeah, so I wouldn't. Um, but yeah, if you want a good healthy sambal recipe, I have it in my check out my ebook, Raw Vegan Delights Agent Edition. Um, there's a sambal recipe here. Hold on, let me look for it. Sambal, 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 sambal. Ah, I have a sambal blackened recipe here. So um, you can get the ebook now because we are MCO, so you can't get it. Uh, this one, yeah, yeah. So there's a sambal balachan recipe here, so that's really good. Um, I just haven't made it <laughs> in some time, but yeah. So if you have that, you put that here, then this will be like the best. Okay. Hi, my dear Vara. We are making like super healthy noodles. Um, uh, I'm, I'm very sick and you have some. Here, yeah, I'm very, you, you can have some. Can I go to you? <laughs> okay, let's try, let's try. Here it is. I tried to put everything into one bite because you want to feel all the, you want to taste the different textures. You want to taste the different flavors. Oh, I said I'm going to tell you what's inside here, right? So I need to tell you what's inside here. Yeah, and then you want to taste the different flavors, you know, different textures, um, the spices as well. Yeah, so all that. Mmm. 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 Mmm, spicy. Yeah, because I put the whole piece of um, chili there. So it's spicy, so let me eat some. Mmm. Mmm. Let me eat some bean sprouts to neutralize it. Alrighty. Okay, so if you're curious what's inside here. <laughs> I'm trying to read. Okay. There's fresh green chili. There's sunflower oil. There is ginger. Tamarind. Ooh. Turmeric. Um, galangal. Lemongrass. Basil, organic, unrefined cane sugar, and lake salt light. Yeah, so that's what's inside the paste. So they've tried to make the paste very um, um, natural as well. So I think there's like no... It's vegan, artisan, handmade, and 100% natural. Yeah, I'm using that. Yeah? So, okay. So, um, does anybody have any questions? Hi, Teacher Kiyu. Hello, love Chunwi. Prasanna Raman, too spicy. Prasanna, it was the chili party. <laughs> yeah, I had the chili party. That was too spicy. So, okay, let me just recap. Um, basically, we... This is the uh, Pinsin Healthy Homemade Noodles. Um, I just uh, cooked it in water for five minutes. And then um, I rinsed off the starch. I rinsed it off with filtered water. And then um, I put in a bit of the um, Maraladon coconut oil spread just to make sure that it doesn't stick together. And then in the meantime, I prepared all these 
raw vegetables. So there is um, long beans, there's red amaranth, there's the bunga kantan, the tosh ginger flower, there's the basil, there is the bean sprouts. Ooh, I think my hair is here. Ooh. Um, there's the bean sprouts, there's the bak choy, microgreens, there is cucumbers, cucumber strips, there is the um, Thai chili or the chili putty, as well as my um, lacto fermented carrot and red cabbage. And then, um, and then we just make the broth, which is made from the pinsin green tom yum, which is basically um, water. Uh, the tom yum paste three, so one cup of water 250 ml of water um, the pinsin paste like three tablespoons of the pinsin paste which is 80 grams as well as a plant based milk yeah I use snappy um, but you can use any plant based milk you want and um, I just heated it up to about 50 degrees celsius and I pour it in and ta da lunch is served okay alright so oh I noticed my um oh my my ipad the battery is getting low so i need to go now um thank you so much everyone for joining and i will see you another time um this sunday i will be having a free zoom session uh it's for those who have who have subscribed to my e-newsletter uh, my e-newsletter is free it's a daily e-newsletter so um if you're interested check it out the link is on my link tree as well for Instagram, for Facebook. If you're not sure, just comment and oh yeah, yeah, it's already written there. Get my daily e-newsletter here. Yeah, okay, so I'll see you guys in another live or on the Zoom session. And uh, till then, stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, animals are our friends, not food. We have food here and go feed it. Bye-bye. Thank you for the hearts.